Welcome to Now That's Disney's Disney Night Live. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hello, friends. Welcome. And happy welcome. Wednesday. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to Aaron and Don for being here tonight with me. Um, it's Wednesday. It's 8 p.m. Eastern. And it is our, again, our new night for Disney Night Live. We have shifted about a month ago from Saturdays to Wednesdays. And, um, we're absent a few people tonight. We want to send, um, you know, our best to Skipper Jay, who's under the weather. Um, and we want to say hello to the rest of our co-hosts who are out there in um, in uh, Disney Night Live land. Uh, and um, thank you, Kim, for helping tonight with the intros. Who's not on tonight, but she helped out. So thank you. Thank you. How's Thanks, doing? Kim. She's behind the scenes today. She was, yeah. She was behind the scenes. She's upstairs. She's cooking, um, and she's doing some things with her Scentsy party. So, uh, but welcome to everybody. I now have to remember that I'm in charge of the comments tonight. And um, hi, Lily. Hello from Michigan. Hello, T Nina. Hello to everybody over on Instagram Live. If you can, please share us out. We are live. Uh, we'd love for you to come join us. Um, we'd love to have more people watching us uh, and, um, you know, that's, uh, that's what makes the world go round. We it have, sure does. it sure does. We, we have a lot of things, uh, going on. We, um, it's been busy. Aaron, you said you've had a busy couple days, huh? Yeah. You know, work is just crazy. You got birds going all yeah. over the place. Yeah. Great. Crazy birds. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm in charge of getting most of them home. So Ooh. It's just busy. <laughs> um, we He's had the one, bird wrangler. Yeah, for fun fact, we had one stay the night last night out and about, and um, oh, wow. found him on the parking garage of Shades of Green. If you've been there before, um, mm -hmm. he was just chilling on the parking garage, actually right wow. next to me, which is that was the spot I was assigned to this morning um, for his fly off, and uh, he was there the whole time. So, <laughs> yeah, he's home now and flew today. It's great. All right, good. Good. And Don, how are you? How's your week going so far, Mr. Disney Don? Well, we got to um, visit with Skipper Jay and uh, Chris down in uh, Disney Springs this weekend. And ladies and gentlemen, spring has sprung here at, you know, in Florida. Um, yeah. the, cr the crowds uh, were impressive. Oh, gosh, yeah, it's so crazy. busy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I uh, on one of our... on. Our one of our friend Panda posted a, um, can't remember what queue it was, but it was for the Lightning Lane. I can't remember what ride, but the Lightning Lane oh, lane yeah. had come at, at, was stretched down the road. Right. And, yeah, I oh, saw wow. that. It was like wrapping around. Yeah, I was like, that's for the Lightning Lane. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there are no quiet times anymore at Disney. Mm -mm. No, but this is this is the crazy time. I mean, listen, we arrive in 15 days and we know it's going to be busy. But right now it is more of the, I guess, the southern states that have an earlier spring break than like yeah. us. So we're a little later. Um, spring I think break we're in hours later. right now. Like Florida's in theirs. And then it's, right. just, it's like three weeks of spring break for us because everyone else is coming later. <laughs> well, right. Yeah. You get you get every, people from all over Louisiana and you get your own mm -hmm. Florida and different different states. So, yeah, it's um, crazy. Yeah. You know, 
but um, we'll be there in 15 days. I know when we're there, it's a lot of folks from New Jersey and from this area. That man in the photo looks like he's Don. Don's photo extends down the screen. Oh, oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> that is funny. That I... is uh, a picture I took of a stormtrooper. <laughs> And that was his like um, leader that was following him, his Disney yeah. leader. <laughs> yeah, I don't have That's that funny. In the over. Isn't that funny? Because Don's go. arm was lined up for that gentleman. Yeah, that is really funny. Maybe I should change our background photo. Here, let's be at the poly tonight. There we go. There we We're go. all hanging out of the Polynesian. Um <laughs> Meet yes, you at Trader Sam's March. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same for us here, Lily, which is why we're taking off on the 28th. We fly out uh, mid-morning-ish um, and uh, so looking forward to it. I'm over our weather here in New Jersey. I'm over it being chilly. I'm over all the rain we've gotten. Yuck. Um, yeah, and we're about to hit that allergy season here. Mm. So, um, you know, we'll be getting it just before we get to Florida and then coming home to it probably in full bloom. So uh, definitely got to get that clarity and go in your system. Get it going. Yeah. Got to get it going. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, one of the things that uh, the fabulous Miss Marie and I, I have been doing, uh, we have hours and hours of home videos. Now videotapes deteriorate uh, with age. Yeah. And, We've started digit uh, sending them away to be uh, preserved and digitized, and so one of the first, of course, we did our our wedding, and but one of the first Dis um, Disney tapes we did is from uh, 1999. Oh it's wow! It's the first week, we're first week of January, and that's before all those fitness nuts took over Disney for the first week of January because now the first week of January is run Disney. Right. It is, and yeah. We have, I, there's videotapes of Main Street USA and there's no one on Main Street USA. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> empty. Because nice that hard. used to be our, that used to be the real dead time was January, yeah. February. But, yeah. not anymore. The, the <laughs> treasures I'm finding, I have a videotape of Snow White Scary Adventure. Oh. oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. You need to get you need to get those up at their, uh, at, on your YouTube channel. Um, yeah, uh, right? I'm going to start um, start making uh, clips. Cool. You know, and get hey, them, Skipper uh, Jay. Post them. No problem, Jay. No problem. You Skipper get better, Jay, buddy. Feel better. Feel better, our friend. Um. We got we got it covered tonight, and uh, hopefully you're better for next week. But you yeah, get have some to take care of yourself. Yeah, get some yeah. fluids. Um, yeah, Don, those would be really yeah. um, good things to I get have, out there on the Don and Marie on the go. Yeah, uh, so I have to go. You know, watch all the tapes and go. Oh, wait a minute. There's a Nordstrom. You know, yeah. I think I have. I haven't digitized it yet, but I think I have Horizons. Oh, oh wow, that would be yeah. awesome. So, yeah. and of course it's real early and you got one of them cameras right here and you're shaking. So my camera yeah. works not that good, but <laughs> that's all right. Hello again to everybody. Yeah. Uh, Nicole Lynn, I see joined in on Instagram yeah. live Hello, And hello to everybody in Facebook um, land and hall of hall of presidents. When, when Bill Clinton was president. Oh, wow. Yeah. I swear. Wow, some vintage oh. stuff you got on. I know. You know Don, I... Don mentioned um, Maelstrom, which brings me. It's, it's I a love good, Maelstrom. It's a, it's, it's a good lead-in because that is in the Norway Pavilion. Yep. And I was listening to our friends over at dmagicworld.com today, who is also our sponsor. It's a 24-7 streaming uh, Disney station playing um, parks music and Disney movie music. But I was listening to D Magic World today, and um, they had the Norway Pavilion music on. Oh, and I like I know this song because yeah. I love the song. It's from Lord of the Rings, or they use it in Lord of the Rings. So the the song that the music playing in the background of Norway 
was used in a part of Lord of the Rings, um, like a lot. It was one of the what do you call it scores. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I'll have I to look really, this up. Yeah, I got. Really I'm sure I would recognize it. it. I love Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, you you'll know it as soon as you hear it. It's yeah, it's something Norway. I can't remember what came before it, yeah. um, and I can. Check you'll have to come. Out. You'll have to come visit. I'll feed you. You can crash on the couch, and we'll have a Lord. We'll start with the oh my God. with the Hobbit and watch all yeah. of the Lord of the Rings. Oh, the in in I, a chronological timeline. Yeah, I have the trilogy. Um, T ninety. Yeah, that's a, it's for locals only, right? Because Jay's a local, Don's a local, Aaron's mm, a local. So yes, it's local. I, yeah. So Get you're that. absolutely correct. Get away. <laughs> I have no the Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> so yeah, we could uh, we could have a sleepover with uh, popcorn and ice cream and and watch those. But um, yeah. Well, so, we could do a stream. We could do a watch party. Yeah, I mean, D Magic World just keeps surprising me with what they do and they put out. I mean, go check them out at dmagicworld.com. Uh, you can listen to them live. Uh, you could hear our uh, live shows in full length on, uh, on Sundays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. as well. You can request music uh, that you want to hear, and they'll get your they'll get your request up there. So nonstop Disney magic. Please check them out. You can hear stuff really cool, music from the Norway Pavilion and all over the place. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanted to um, chat real quick too because there was uh, just a little announcement from Disney about the um, Disney dining improvements, right? In the, um, in the app. I don't know if you okay. guys heard about that. I have not, please share. So um, they say that they've continued to listen to the feedback and they're making improvements and updates that you don't want to miss uh, for things like making and viewing dining reservations, mobile ordering and more. So Dis uh, discover Disney uh, dining reservation availability more easily. You can now see all available reservation time slots at a restaurant for the entire day on DisneyWorld.com, Disneyland.com, and the My Disney Experience and Disneyland app. So reservations are sorted by breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. You can easily choose a time based on the menu you like to enjoy. Okay. And then they say coming soon, you could search for dining availability for multiple days. So... I think it's, yeah, 10 days at a time. So where right now you can only like, you know, I want a dining reservation for Kim, myself and Colton. I go on, I put in, you know, a time frame. I can only look at that day. You're going to be able to look for up to 10 days. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. So, so those are some enhancements there. So you'll be able to say, I'm going to be staying at Disney from the 1st to the 10th. Mm -hmm. And during my stay, I want to eat at this location. You plug it in. And it's yeah. going to show you all availabilities during your stay. Right. Which is which is great. You don't have to keep going back out and going back in and changing dates and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, Hopefully that's a little bit more user-friendly. Yeah. You know, and I like the fact they say that they're listening because they should listen to us. Absolutely. You listen to us here at Disney Night Live. Um, you know, we uh, I think we do a really good job here and we're pretty informative. And uh, there's no reason that um, Iger and the team is, shouldn't be watching us and listening to us. Um, alcohol included. Yeah, alcohol included. Oh, my stars. Yes. <laughs> um, you know it. We, always included. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit. I went with a little bit of vino tonight. I'm drinking some... Uh, Ooh. Yeah, really cheap vino. But you know what? I'm celebrating. We'll be at Disney World in 15 days. Absolutely. We're going to start packing this weekend. We got the, I got the suitcases out, um, you know, out of our storage area in the basement. And I got them open and airing out. And, um, and we're going to start packing. We're going to start. So exciting. Yeah, it's it's going to be here exciting. before you know it. Can't wait. Yeah. Cannot wait. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be a good time. It is. It is. It's gonna be a good time. Um, that's my singing for the night. That uh, is. You ready to get started? Yeah, I'm ready to get started. We uh, we're talking about skippable. Well, tonight's title is skippable rides or skippable attractions um, at Disney, and but it doesn't have to be just a ride, right, or attraction. I mean, do you yeah. skip something else at Disney, and, and for what is the reason? Like, do you skip a restaurant? Do you skip a parade? Do you skip a show? Um, so we want to, we want to talk about that because we always talk about like the things we want to do, 
but what do we avoid doing and why? Yeah. Mm. You know, I have a lot of so, stuff. <laughs> you have a lot of, yeah. yeah and I've got, a, you know, I've got the Disney, um, uh, site open here so i can look but i mean i could tell you right off the bat there's two things that you don't want to skip because when you when you pull it up for the parks and you sort it animal kingdom comes up first and the first two things it says is animal encounters winged encounters the kingdom takes flight and feathered friends in flight so don't skip that it says don't skip them i'm saying don't skip it <laughs> But it's the first two things that pop up on my list, and it just so happens that Aaron works there. I do. These. So don't skip these because you have a chance not only to see Aaron, but the cool creatures. True. True. And I do have to say that that is actually something that people skip a lot. And it's crazy because, I I mean, I understand it's hard. First of all, Wing Encounters um, yeah. is in, in your My Disney Experience app, but you have to, like, search it. You have to type it in. It's not just going to – it's not under those little, like, icons that you can touch anything right. else. And so a lot of people are like, oh, when is this happening? And I have to tell them that they have to look it up. But I know there's a lot of exciting things like going on the safari, of course, going to Pandora and going to eat at your reservations and meeting Mickey and Minnie and Moana. But the amount of raving reviews that we have from cast, from not cast, from guests, I mm -hmm. mean, cast too. I've got some cast members coming to talk to me, but some guests that always come and know when our stuff is, but it's such a good thing. If you haven't seen it, go say winged encounters. Yeah. It's a great thing. Don't miss it. Don't skip it. Don't. So although tonight's tonight's topic is skippable things at Disney, don't skip these. And you know what? Again, Iger, if you're listening or Josh guys, uh, then you want to put these in there in the app so that people can look at it and find it more readily retrievable and time. So let's get with it, guys. Come on. Get with it. Get with it. Okay. Let's now let's go to skippable we, stuff. Let's talk about skip. What do we got? Who wants to oh, skip to the loo? Yeah. Skip and it. Skip the dog. One of the things that I'm going to skip in Magic Kingdom. Oh. Tom Sawyer's Island. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean. Yeah. If, if, I'm, if I'm there for one day. Am I going to spend the time to get on the raft, go over to Tom Sawyer's right. Island, and do a nature walk? Because mm -hmm. there's no attractions there. And and maybe Aunt Polly's will be open, but there's a True. great chance it won't be. It's probably not, right? So, now, can I, uh, can I argue that that is an attraction? The island itself is an attraction, yeah. but... If you're there for just the day, if you're day tripping, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to spend the time on Tom Sawyer's Island. Yeah, right. very You don't want to take true. all that that really important time out to do that. Although it's it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. Like if you're if you're on a longer trip, if you've been there a lot and you want to do something new or take a break from the if, park yeah. itself, like go to Tom Sawyer's Island. But right, I understand what you're saying. Um, now, yeah. if I'm there for a multi-day stay, and I'm going to be at Magic Kingdom more than two days, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I'll go. I'll go to Tom Sawyer's Island. But yeah, yeah. I've only been once. Fun fact. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah I I went with a, a friend of mine like four years ago, and we literally went to the Magic Kingdom just to go to Tom Sawyer's Island because I'd never been. And right. so we were like, let's go explore. And I had a great time there because it is, and it was my first time. So like, it was enjoyable because I was seeing all new stuff. Would I go mm -hmm. back? Mm, eh. I honestly don't right. really frequent the Magic Kingdom anymore. So it's, I'm going to say no, but yeah, only been once. So Jay, I was just going to say that though. So yeah, especially if you want to take a break from the crowds because Tom Sawyer Island is in Magic Kingdom, but it's an escape from everything else, right? You get mm -hmm. on a ramp, you go over there. There's there's places to sit, places to explore. So, like Jay said, you bring in food from home, you pack some sandwiches or something. You head over to Tom Sawyer Island, and you have a nice midday break and get a break from everything. Um, yeah, but yeah, I get I get exactly what you're saying, Don. I got one day at Magic Kingdom. I'm not going over to Tom Sawyer's Island. I'm probably not climbing the tree either, right? The 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 um, I uh, didn't even think about Swiss Family Tree because Swiss family, I haven't you, thought yeah. about it. 
Right. And um, Kim loves to do that. We do it like almost every time we're there. But do I want to walk all the way up that tree and down that tree uh, if I have limited time Magic Kingdom? No. So my knees outvote me. So it's yeah, two true. to one. And my knees say, no, you're not yeah. going to go climb all those stairs. The only good tree house is the Tarzan tree house in California. See, if I went to California, oh. I would go see the Tarzan because I it's, it's it. better than Swiss Family Robinson. Right. Just saying. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Um, yeah. Dave, what what is your gonna what's gonna be your first skippable thing? Magic Kingdom. I could tell you yeah. something we've never done, and I probably never will do is Astro Orbiter. Really, I love yeah. Astro Orbiter. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little. <laughs> Uh, it might be a height thing. Like I go on other okay. things, but I don't know if I want to be, I know I'm up that high and mm -hmm. I can see it and I'm hanging. Like I could see, oh, you're kind of close to like the edge there. It oh, seems. Too, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Right. So that think, kind of like creeps me yeah. out. I mean, the best time to ride it yeah. is doing fireworks. <laughs> too, too bad. Yes. But yeah, I like, oh, okay. That's interesting. I mean, but I, it makes sense. It is, especially right. when you elevate yourself all the way up at such a, Tiny ob in, in a tiny ob vessel, you know, it's it is can, can be. Yeah, scary. those things fly are like they're small. They're like oh. a toboggan or something, right? Like, I, smaller than any of the others, like spinny up and down rides out on Walt right. Disney World property. Well, yes, I'm probably skipping you know, this. Are you going to skip Aladdin? Uh yes, absolutely. I'll skip Aladdin, Dumbo, Triceratops no. spin. <laughs> I'd like to do at least one of them. I really love Aladdin just because Dumbo. of the area too. You know, uh, I never fell in love with Aladdin, but we will go on Dumbo for nostalgia right. reason. It is nostalgic, and for me, like I love the area that Aladdin, you know, the mm -hmm. magic carpets are in because I just pirates is over there, and it's very cool. Um, so I like I like to do that. Um, yeah, but it's not something we do all the time, so it's probably it is kind of makes sense. It's skippable just because I'm getting to all the clients. Yeah, true. T9, yeah, also it's having hard. Yeah, true. Hmm. How about you, Aaron? Let's you see. We're gonna we're gonna stick with the Magic Kingdom because Magic that's what we're on. Okay. Um, there's quite a few things, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with my first that I know I will. I will. I mean, I've done it, so I can't say I will never do it, but I will definitely right. try my hardest to not ever be on it. And that is what was Splash Mountain. I will. Go on it once for Tiana's Bayou Adventure because see I have to up. see it. Yep. Yeah. And and all the sneak peeks of the showing is going to look great. But I despise water rides. Even though yeah. that flume ride, you don't really get that wet. Not about it. Yeah. But yeah, I you don't get once. crazy wet. Correct. But, but yeah, it took me a long time to get on Splash and I hated yeah. it. I And I went on Splash two or three times but like within like one or one to three months like it was like very fast and then it closed yeah. um and like i'll go on tiana's by adventure but i will after that it, i maybe will never go on it again <laughs> yeah mm -mm. yeah i'm definitely looking forward to doing it but i don't know if it's something we're gonna always do and and it is the getting wet thing um carol uh lily says she agrees carol yeah. Lane says Speedway is horrible. Another skippable thing. I've never um, done it. Oh no, you're not mm -hmm. missing anything. You kind of nope. It's, if it's hot, there's no shade over there. It smells yeah. like um, gas. Gas, yeah. yeah, like bad Even though gas. I don't think they use gasoline, but whatever. No, but if for some reason it's, I don't know if they're pumping it in there to make it seem real, but it stinks. It makes yeah, it's just, not not good. No, and it's not even fun. Like make it more fun. No, you know. I went know. over. Um, when they they did a holiday overlay and they were Ooh. the way they hyped up that overlay, I was like, oh, they're gonna do like a, you know, they're gonna do an Osborne thing to the to the yes. speedway and the way they hyped it up. And when I went over there, I was like, okay, who killed the you know this? It it, it wasn't. I didn't go on the ride. It wasn't. Yeah. Now, well, yeah. If if they had going full right. osborne on it i would have yeah but yeah it was For sure. lame 
Um, you know, uh, getting back to the Splash Mountain, uh, Mountain uh, and Tiana's um, bio adventure and getting wet are rides that you get wet on something that you like, okay. Um, uh, the Cali one River Rapids. In the Cali River Rapids. Because that one you can get drenched on if you're uh, in the and, right spot. So I. Right? Oh, my gosh. Sorry. There's an ad on my YouTube standby. Uh oh. Oh, I thought the power went out. There. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's blinking. And I can only wonder what the ad is. Yeah. <laughs> from, judging from Aaron's reaction. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, are you watching us on YouTube while you're live with us? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's muted. So we do... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we do Cali River Rapids, um, and it's fun. It should be longer, according to Kim, and she's right. It should be a little longer because just when you're really going there, you want more out of it. But do you want to get wet? Which also leads me to: Do people skip the water parks all together? We've never been to water parks. I'm back. I don't know. He's back after the the <laughs> ad on the YouTube. Ed refuses to ride anything where he might get even sprinkled on. See, yeah. So, right. So I mean, going back to before no. I got interrupted, <laughs> I have ridden Cali once, and when I rode it, I, I got under the waterfall thing, which yeah. soaks you. And I'm like, right. I was I was actually kind of mad because I I hate it yeah. so much. I hate my feet being wet. It was not fun. So yes, I do go away from any water ride except for frozen ever after because i or whatever it's right yeah um yeah, yeah. because i you don't really get wet and like pirates you don't right. get wet either so like that yeah, very yeah it, I, I don't care about either of those rides like if i'm not going to go to the magic kingdom to go on them but with water rides no and i refuse yeah. to go on cali ever again yeah see i think we'll probably do cali at least once while we're there this trip uh, mm -hmm. pirates i'm definitely not skipping it's my fave um but we've never done the water parks and it's not just because like i don't want to go on a vacation to disney world to go to water parks and just do water rides all day i, I mean i get it's there and it's adventurous and fun for other people and they love that but i'm not there for that because and again it kind of goes back to dancing like i have a certain amount of time i'm at disney world for my trip I, do I want to spend it at the water parks? And, and that's a no for me. Yeah, I, I've never been yeah. to Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon, no. so I don't um, We've day tripped just to the water parks. Um, so Ooh. we, you know, we're like, okay, we are going to go spend. It's not part of our ticket, so we we buy, you know, we pay at the gate, and we have day tripped to the water park and enjoyed ourselves. Okay, okay. that's good. Yeah, um, one of the things that I want that's on my list to do, uh, but it's well I've been going there since 1992 and still haven't done it. I want to do the uh, miniature golf over by uh, Blizzard Beach. Both oh, yeah. outstanding. Yeah, what is um... Winter Summerland? Winter, and, right, yeah. And then there's one over by the Swan, which is themed after it's... Fantasia. It's Fantasia, and then they have like just a normal golf course. Yeah. Cool. But both of them, yeah. exceptional. Always should do them. Well, we'll just have to figure a, a, a day off and we'll meet you there, Aaron. Oh, Play absolutely. A little, little golf. And it's, a, and it's such a great attraction if you just need a break from the parks, but you don't yeah. want to stay at your resort all the time. Like it's, yeah. it's a nice breather, but still gives you that Disney, a like, little bit of Disney magic. It's cute. I like them. Yeah. Lily says that they do love winter summer golf. So, um, <laughs> very good, very good. Jay's messaging us. Uh, we love Fantasia Gardens. So, oh, okay, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. T Nina, let's see what Jay is messaging us from his bed at oh. home while he's not feeling well. He says, Fantastic. Zappers. Oh, my goodness, that is so great of you. Thank you so much, Jay. He says that we rock. How sweet. Thanks, Jay. I know. Thank you. Hope we are able that. to make you feel better. I know. I know. Hello, Cindy Dylan Teal. Hello. Uh, I just so, see that uh, you popped in. Here's a question, and this will get this will get Jay's blood pressure up. Oh no. 
do you spend we don't want to make him time, feel bad <laughs> do you spend the time to wait in line for the jungle cruise do you skip the line that's do you, spe do you spend the time you have yeah. you're there Hello, for a limited amount <laughs> you know that's like peter pan 120 minute wait you're gonna right or are you gonna wait for peter pan the thing with with um jungle cruise is the and another thing you can hear on back on uh, dmagicworld.com yeah. our sponsor is the background stuff going on at jungle cruise the yeah. um the radio you know thing that's going on and the jokes that are yeah. so it starts in the queue it's not just when you get on the boat with the jokes and the queue um it's not music it's but it's yeah. the audio is is yeah. hilarious it's, yeah so i'm not gonna a, skip so if you're not going to skip it you have and usually it uh, jungle cruise is a delayed opening mm -hmm. it's not it's not a rope drop uh, ride mm -hmm. so you, right. you have to time it so you get there when it opens and that's the shortest wait time why is it not a um opening like park opening attraction a, a, attraction like what is it so park opens at nine what are they open at like 10 or something i don't I don't know. I I, yeah. I would say it's a financial. You know, it, you know yeah. I would think it's it's a financial decision. Mm -hmm. you know, or maybe open. that people are going to the important rides first, so they know. Yeah, they yeah, can. The, yeah. right. And we'd rather have spend. You know, if you have a, you know, if you're like any corporate in America, they they talk about hours. We have X amount of hours to spend on an on staffing this on this particular day right. and the last five years this is how our staffing you know they it's amazing what they graph how much how they can deep dive into the statistics yeah 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 that's hmm. uh that's what they use us for guinea pigs yeah. for their um yeah yeah let's no we throw trip. off people like us we throw off the uh we we throw off the t t statistics yeah yeah jay it's just it cracks me up i love that whole background thing going on at jungle cruise um do you guys skip shows in general at the parks any of the shows for a specific reason or like i mean lion king has great shows festival of lion king is great the finding nemo right. is great but are there shows in the uh the other parks that we're skipping yes um yeah, Emphatic yes from Aaron. Mm -hmm. It all depends. If it's 110 degrees out, I'm going to mm -hmm. a show to, for just an air conditioning break. Air. Yeah, I'm not doing Indiana yep. Jones in the in the heat because no. we did that a couple of years ago in July and there was no air moving in there at all. Or oh, even God. Uh, Beauty yeah. and the Beast. As much as we love watching the Beauty and Beast stage show, right? It's brutal. Yeah. Yeah, there's like no air movie. Yeah, you're right. I'll do Lion and, King, Nemo, or something inside. And before they put up the gigantic fans, mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. I'm like, wow, look at that fan. It was worse. You're a big fan, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan of that. <laughs> T9 says they don't skip any shows. Um, but you, T9, would you sit like again, like we did it? It was, I don't know how, how many years ago, but it was really hot in July and we. We did the Indiana Jones and it was brutal in there. Would you do something like that, or would you do it like if the, you know, you're not dying in there of heat? Yeah. Well, you're you're at Epcot. Do you walk by all in World Showcase, China, France, uh, Canada, mm. that have the uh, the th uh, 360 degree uh, program? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. When was the last time you went and watched Oh Canada? Mm. never but the canada the canada pavilion is is very nice and we haven't done the 360 over in china no. um well no. you like canada because it has moose head it does have yeah it's got listen it's got cheese beer cheese soup it's got steak mm. and it has beer uh but it's got that waterfall and everything but yeah we skip mm. yeah we skip all of the shows in the epcot pavilions but we do try to look in depth at a new pavilion each trip that's good so, i like that yeah like you know really explore really mm -hmm. go to 
to go it. into it, look at all the stuff. Yeah. Okay, and I mean, yeah. there's a lot of that good stuff that's there. To Since see, we're so in Epcot, cool. and you have to go on one on one of these two rides, what ride do you go on? Do you go on the Journey uh, Figment, or do you go on Mission Space? Or do you Mission buy space. Space, both of them? Mission yeah, I'm space. Skipping space. I'm sorry, I didn't give context. I will ride Mission Space. <laughs> I'm going to skip Mission Space because I don't want to get sick on anybody. I would love to try it, but even on the, the soft version, I don't want to uh, pukey pukey. Um, Team Orange right here. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I did I'll go, get on, I'll a, go uh, on Team Orange. I'll go on that one with you. Thank really? You, thank you. You're good with all that, Don? Well, I take a minute. I will take a minute to, uh, you know, after I get off the ride, I do have to get things to stop. But yeah. uh, the things <laughs> I, well, yeah, because you're being spun around. Uh, right, I'm going the things to that I, I, the things I have a problem with are the virtual reality rides like right. Star Tours. Mm -hmm. mm. If I have about... any congestion, oh, I, God, it can yeah. ruin my day. What about Flight of Passage? You do okay on that? Flight of Passage, I do okay because um, it, you're not in a confined space. If I'm in Star, Star Tours and I'm in that confined space, one, I always find it to be overheated. That's Jay. Like, right. I know that's Jay. Yeah, that is Jay. No mission space. <laughs> Horizons, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Horizons. Goodness. So for you, and, I'm going to tell. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that Jay is not going to go. Is going to skip the Winnie the Pooh ride too. Uh, <laughs> I, I I've only done Figment once. I want to do it. I mean, we skip it every time because. So this is a skip for Colton because we did it once and he got that whiff of that skunk spray, you know, mm -hmm. in that part, and he was like, "No, nah, we're not doing this again." I'm like, "I don't want to do Figment again." Oh, just you hold know? your breath. Did well? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> why we hope that's why we hate makes it sense. Yeah, makes sense. a lot of virtual yeah. uh yeah um uh, explain to colton that it's not really skunk it's actually right. the, uh burnt coffee right that that yeah. that, yeah. that flavor the, the smell they're using is burnt coffee or however anyone would say the word coffee right coffee that's us here. In coffee, Jersey. No coffee. poo for me, says Jay. I'm still Miss Miss Mister Toad. <laughs> I still miss Mister Toad. I got that, that is one. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, that um, was a big one for me. Someone especially with my list. I, I saw uh, <laughs> I saw a questionnaire online, and they want to know if they should put uh, Brer Rabbit in the cemetery with next to Mister Toad. They should. They should. Yeah. I think they should just because they should, mm -hmm. yeah. but not because I'm a fan. Clearly, I said I'm not. So, I think, um, yeah, I think they definitely should. Mm -hmm. Some, um, let's see what else. I'm just looking here at at what you each know, part. I offers. have yet to go on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that ride. Oh my gosh, we did so it good. once. So I'm glad it's you so brought good. that up. You're wearing the shirt. I'm wearing a shirt because I love the freaking movies. They're awesome and hilarious. But I I got a relief band in the mail today. And I'm excited to try this relief band on the trip. It's supposed to help with like motion sickness and stuff. Uh oh. Right? Is it, it the, says, um, like you wear Yeah, it has the two pressure points you put on your wrist? Yeah, so this one's actually electric uh, it pulsates. Oh. Uh, it's got five different like there's a lot out there on the market, but I got the relief band uh brand. Um and it goes here on that pressure point and um, you turn it on and it will send a signal and kind of vibrates there. And that kind of is supposed to help with the, the motion sickness. Jimmy Horn over at the Disney Nerd said that his wife, Kim, uh, tried one on a cruise and it helped, you know, like oh. big time. So, yeah, and she gets motion sickness. So um, I, I'm going to take some Meclizine and I'm going to wear that and I'm going to do Guardians again because... It is a really fun ride, and I don't want to miss out. I don't want to be like, oh, I just, I'm old and I suck and I can't do this, you know. So I always one of these times when we're staying on this. property yeah. and going to Epcot, I'm gonna buy a Lightning Lane to go on Guardians. Yeah. Listen, it's it's if you get motion sickness, it's gonna send you into a into an episode. It definitely yes. will. It, 
it makes people sick that don't have motion sickness. Mm -hmm. There's, you know. Oh, um, if I throw up on myself, do I get a free shirt? I think you get a bib. Yeah. Uh -huh. They just yeah, get they a get, bib for you. <laughs> just get a, yeah, that's how you get a bib. No, I mean, I one of the cast members told Kim when we came off of that ride, um, the reason that they don't have the typical Disney garbage cans there is because so many people came off the rides vomiting. They were, you know, like puking into the yeah. regular garbage can with the door on the side. So they got garbage cans that are open on top to just make mm -hmm. it easier for people getting sick, uh, you know. Um, but it, it's so fun. It is so it's fun. such a good ride. Yeah. Good. It's really cool. Hey. I mean, the tech. Technology Who was it. the engineer that said, "Hey, let's spin these people around, put them mm. backwards, um, get them disorientated, and then yeah. let them walk up a, a flight of stairs?" Especially in Epcot while they're drinking. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, um, I'm just looking again. We talked about Cali River Rapids. Do um, do people do things like Wilderness Explorers? Especially if you have kids, or do people skip that? Like the things that they do, like um, Epcot used to have um, the scavenger hunts, scavenger hunts yeah. and stuff. Do people? Oh, the, mm -hmm. yeah, the impossible. Last scavenger, and... the last scavenger hunt uh, Marie and I went on, uh, we did the pirates adventure in Avenio. Oh, that's so and, good. Yeah, yeah. Before COVID, we we did mm -hmm. it, and then. And the day we did it, it was, I was like, it's 100 degrees out, and we're walking back and forth all over Adventureland. This is fun. That is the but one I was. would like it to was, try, though. Yeah. You haven't yeah, done they it? Had, it's no. interactive. Right. Yeah, I've seen videos. I've seen people do it in yeah. the vlogs, and I never even knew it was there. But, yeah, you get a map, and you go find things, and things actually yeah. activate with your magic band. Um Cindy Dillon uh, Teal says, Guardians of the Galaxy is great. Suffer from motion sickness, and I did okay. However, Star Tours, I still can't do. Yeah, that one um, that one sometimes messes me up a bit, Star Tours. And Kim and Colton love it, mm -hmm. and I do it. Uh, it doesn't ruin my day, but it will throw me off here and there. Um, mm -hmm. Tina, yeah, the I know first we have time... never done Tours. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. The first time I went on Flight of Passage um, threw me through a loop. Yeah, it definitely but then throws the my balance. The second time I went that. on, it was phenomenal. It was great. Yeah, but listen, I'm not missing flight. Whatever it does to me, I, you know, I'm doing it because for me, so, that's my most favorite ride there. The last time, okay, here's a here's a survey. The last time you guys were in Epcot, did you go on um, test track? Yes, we always do. I try to, but it's always so long. And yeah. even with a DAS, I'm not waiting for my time. Yeah. I love it. I love I love the fact that number one, when you get outside and you go so fast, then number two, you know, no matter how many times we do it, Kim thinks we're gonna fly off that track. <laughs> every, every time is like <laughs> I feel bad for the people that are riding in the car with us that have never done it before. Mm -hmm. And she like panicking and it's every it's literally every time we do it she's yeah. like ah, i'm like you know, gotta fly. i'm gonna have to go on the ride next time i yeah. you know go on the ride with you and go wow this you know let them know how the ride sounds shaky and you know i've yeah. been on this ride you hear, before this, you hear that? this one sounds weird you hear that <laughs> yeah, um, it cracks me up real quick i want to go back to the wilderness <laughs> explorer scavenger hunt thing yeah. um I've never done Wilderness Explorers. I do know about every, probably every single one because I work in the park, but I do think it's really great that, and I know a lot of people like to do it, especially with kids because they really can learn a lot. Right. I have some friends who are Wilderness Explorers um, mm. and like they really are passionate about sharing conservation message to guests, to adults and kids. And a lot of stuff that they can share with people is really cool, like a lot of insects and different yeah. stuff. So Ocelous. I do think it's really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think yeah. it's a it's a great offering that they have. Of course, like I said, I've never done it. Done other scavenger hunts like pirates and then stuff at Epcot, but I think it's great. You should never skip it if you've never no, done it before. You shouldn't. You know, when Colton was younger, we um, we were walking in the uh, Animal Kingdom one day, and um, cast member 
you know, we stopped and we asked Colton, and this is when Colton really had some serious sensory processing mm-hmm. things, you know, and um, just trouble focusing. But the cast member was really good. First of all, like one of the best looking guys I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if he still works there. Kim and I were like, holy cow. Um, Probably but not. he, yeah, he knew Colton was on the spectrum. He's like, I work with kids with special needs. And he just took an interest in Colton and uh-huh. spent time with him. And was it was it was really nice to see, you know, and um, and showing him the fossils and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it is fun. I want to do the Pirates one. Definitely. Um, now that I've now that I've um, that was brought up, um, I'm going to bring up something here. And I hope nobody says skippable because it's one of my favorites. Navi River Journey. Don't say skip. Don't say skip. It is I... a time because <laughs> it's a time constraint ride. Uh, um, for if I don't, don't have say... if yeah you know, we don't have the disability pass. Right. And if if we walk up and, and if we check the the check the board and it says over an hour wait, it's, you're not you gonna know, do it. We're gonna skip yeah. it. Um, yeah. We hit it perfect one day, right? We got we got out of we got out of uh, out of flight of passage and looked, and it was like a twenty minute wait. We're like, of course we're going on. It's a twenty minute wait, so we walked. Right on. It was a walk on. I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. I, I love, love the ride too. Out. Yeah, but you're not, not gonna wait for it. No, like not how ever. long? Five mm-hmm. minutes? Ten minutes? Okay, you know, if it's a walk on, sure, yeah. I'll go on absolutely. Like parts closing, sure, sure. But if it's really long, I'm not going to wait for it. And if if it's really long, and even if you have a DAS, I'm still not going to wait for it. Really, I probably yeah. have ridden it four or five times, and I love it. And if the yeah. the the Navi Shaman animatronic is so oh, cool, stunning. The music that they the sing, music, Halloweena. So yeah, good. but yeah, I I sing the whole time I'm, I'm on there. Not gonna wait for it. Love it. Oh, so I, I it's a it's it. a hit or miss. I'm not gonna say it's a for so, sure yeah. skip. I'd but wait it, 25 it, minutes for it. It depends on the circumstances. Mm. Yeah. I think well, the longest Marie and I have ever waited for a ride, the first time we went on uh flight of passage, uh we were in that line for three hours. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that uh, is long. Line, I'll tell you what. Flight of Passage is it's phenomenal. So yeah. the line went all the way down the path towards the Lion King, and then um, and it doubled back on itself coming up. And you had to like, oh, here's the end of the line. That shouldn't be too long. And they took you all the way down, like to the Lion King, cro- uh, crossed over and come back. Yeah. Um, I have a ride question about skipping yeah. or not skipping. Um, we're gonna jump back to Epcot and let's do it. Your votes on Rat Patootie. I did it. We did it once, and I loved it. And and these two, I'm not going to mention the names of the two that live in the house with me. Don't seem interested in going on it again. So these two, <clears> Kim, <throat> yeah, and Colton, oh, and Colton. <laughs> I, I, I freaking love that ride. It was so much fun. You didn't okay, like it? Okay. Or, um, is it so it is a skippable ride. I have oh. ridden it quite a few times. So I oh, went. Yeah. I went during a cast um preview and um it actually started raining so they just kept letting us ride so i rode it three times in a row yeah um, because it was raining outside and it was cast preview so literally there it like limited like, hey. people coming in and so a little after the third time i was like i'm just doing this because i don't want to stand outside in the rain right but it just progressively got worse and of course like if people visit they're like i want to ride it too i'm like sure whatever we'll go on but i'm not waiting for it and Mm. I will never go on by myself. So it is definitely considered skippable. Skippable. Wow. Don, mm. what do you think? Um, it, uh, everything everything is a time constraint, you know, on oh. a day tripper. Because, it again, I'm not going to wait over an hour for that ride. Right. Yeah, Jimmy Horn says, I like it, but it wouldn't wait an extremely long line. No. Hello to Mr. Jimmy Horn. What's up? Yeah. T Nina okay. says, it was my mother's favorite ride in all of Disney. To me, it's not worth a two hour wait. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, two hours is a long time. Let's jump back to uh, Magic. Uh, no, uh, MGM. 
uh, I mean, Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Uh, yeah. And we're going to talk about dining experience. What are you skipping? What, um, which one are you going to, I mean, I know since they changed the menu, you don't necessarily love Brown Derby anymore. I didn't like my experience last year at Brown Derby. That was an mm-hmm. issue for me. I mean, we ate with Adam Waite, our friend Adam there, yeah. and the, she was the waitress was bad, and I was not happy with uh, the service, and I wasn't happy with how they handled it, and and um, and what they felt was like resolution for it. Um, of course, we're eating there again. Kim's like, I think it's Kim's favorite restaurant on property, probably. Yeah. Okay. And I do like it, but because they had my great well, they cake. took your burger. <laughs> they took the burger away. Yeah. which was a big no-no you but need to bring that one of Iger, the restaurants, bring the burger back yeah one of the restaurants <laughs> i liked but i wouldn't go back unless let's say you you know you and your family were there and we were with you that day mm. rodeo roundup yeah that's right you um you yeah. did the video I, on that i mean yeah i think it's a I, that was a one and done and uh it's yeah you know there was a couple things I were, I thought it was overpriced, and they didn't give a annual pass or a DVC discount. Right. They've also changed and, the menu recently and took away yeah some of the sides and salads and I so, think they took the fried uh, pickle away and you know which why would you take that away out of anything? I mean, fried pickles. What makes a pickle better? You well, they they took away <laughs> what they were throwing out the most or. You know, uh, I, yeah. I bet they probably they said, okay, we throw out the yeah. most fried pickle. Get them off. That, uh, T9, um, we ate there one time. I don't think I will ever go back to sci-fi. The experience was fun, but the food, number one, I couldn't really see what I was eating, but I know it was greasy and I didn't like it. Mm. Um, yeah. We like the, um, we like the experience. Um, right. If we can, if we can get in there, yeah, we'll, we will. Uh, Marie and I will eat there. We won't skip. Yeah, but the, the the rodeo roundup, I had high hopes on, and I don't know. We've never tried it, and I don't know if I will because it it just it doesn't. Oh, seem I'd like to, to sit back and just watch Colton tear that place up. See, that's the thing, though, too. Like I like barbecue, and I would go to town on the meats in that place. But now, do I want to like? spend some more hours in the park after downing all of that meat like i i definitely would have had a couple drinks at that mm-hmm. point and then i'm gonna have the meat sweats like on slinky dog i feel bad for whoever <laughs> since, like <laughs> on that ride with me that's <laughs> funny yeah, yeah. yeah. well then you, gonna... you you set the afternoon to watch the shows right you gotta do the show so you can take naps <laughs> yeah. i find yeah. people skipping toy story mania a lot in hollywood studios as well I would. I'll skip it. Mm. I, and, I, I, and swirling saucers and slinky dog. I'll skip all the Toy Story Land. Actually, ooh, I love. So it's prettier at night and obviously cooler. Um, but slinky dog's a must. I'm very. We're competitive on Toy Story Mania. I always win, and it's fun because like Kim and Colton always ride together, and I'm always knocking on the back of the ride vehicle. Like I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> on the I other side, I'm gonna, yeah, and like yeah, we're yelling at each other. So, but I, if I just feel like, especially since they added the rest of the stuff in Toy Story Mania, and they changed how you entered it, right? Because that was the only drawback back then. And now they have the whole land. But I just feel people skip that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the, I um, The one thing I wouldn't skip in Toy Story, in the Toy Story land, Andy's Lunchbox. Mm. Andy's Lunchbox, go there for their breakfast uh, potato barrel. Yeah, it's, the tachos. It's, well, they, they it's tater tots. Oop. Sorry, right. that's a registered yep. name. So it's it's, it's a tater barrels with um, scrambled eggs over it. With mm-hmm. then they put the uh, uh, sausage gravy and then cheese. Right. I'm yeah. Like, it sounds really good. Mm. Uh, to, yeah, I know. You know, y- you got to skip the practice round in Toy Story Mania. Oh, that's you, what you I don't learned. do it. Don't you do the practice see, round. There's no reason. Just save your wrist. 
and I do switch like I'm on my righty, but I will switch to my left. Oh, and then no. really save it up for the right. But yeah, you've got to have like forearm muscles going there. <sighs> yeah, yeah, like, I know. <laughs> it's craziness. It's like it's yeah, almost it like shake weight that came out years oh, ago. Oh, well, totally. I always I, I let the string ride between these two fingers and, and just right. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. You you don't grab the ball and bang, bang, bang. No. So that was my problem, Jimmy Horn, with um with uh or T Nina. Um with the lunch andy's lunchbox like we got food from there one time and i would love to keep going there but there's nowhere to sit and there's zero shade toy story land in general like i feel like they're like you know it's just frying in the sun you'll just bake out here with andy yeah. you know so yeah. one of the things that the fabulous miss marie and i will if we're staying on property except if we're on a monorail one of the things we skip is disney transportation Right. We're saying, all, it, let's say yeah. we're at the old Key West. Like uh, local we're local. Man. We have our car with us, and we're uh, so you're a local. Jay yeah, would be local. so. Proud. Um, <laughs> Jay yeah. would be proud. Locals, no shade at all. You're right, Jimmy Horn. Um, yeah, but we skip Disney transportation. Um, who's been? You get out of Fantasmic. You go to the, you go to the mass of humanity that is the bus stop, and you have to sit there and wait and wait and w it's like oh maybe this bus is mine oh no that's going to the that's going over there to the, um, to the resort that only has three people in line. I don't see, but this is where and I I agree like, so I disagree with Don and T nine the Skyliner is amazing like, for for us coming there you know the transportation portion and all the transportation is like part of it. Like yeah. the ability to just be back on a monorail, be back on a Disney bus, the excitement of going from our resort onto the bus, knowing I'm going to be at the destination of that day, that park is so exciting. I love that. I just, I love it. You I know? agree. But I, I'm going to yeah. stay on property and do a whole shindig. I'm going to use transportation, yeah. even if I have You're, my car yeah. because of the, Right. Um, sorry, I'm going to use the word yeah. local. Um, local. Yes. Uh, local. Yeah. I want to. I want Everybody. to have the whole experience, especially because mm -hmm. I don't vacation here anymore. So it's not right. that yeah. extra. I have to create that for me. And you so got I, it right. Yeah. I'm going to take Disney transportation, even yeah. if yeah. it's going to take me a long time. I still like the. I like the convenience of having my own vehicle. We get free mm. parking, and. We can come and well, nope, not going to wait for twenty minutes to get on the bus. Going to no. go right, mm -hmm. get in the vehicle, and go to the next thing we're doing. Right, yeah. I mean, That's Clayton, up. right? You you get engulfed in that. Ex you're immersed in it, and I love it. I mean, I just, uh, you know, Magic Kingdom, end of the night, hop on that little boat back to the Poly if you're staying there. Boom. Mm -hmm. But it's part of the immersion. It's part of the experience. Um, the best part of being it's it's not driving. I agree with Ed and and Jimmy Horn. So I like to have my cocktails on my vacation. Um, you know, uh, it's early and often, and I'm not driving, so it's great for me. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about it. I did. Uh, I think was it the monorail? That was easy. Yeah, I did have a lapu lapu on the monorail from the Poly yeah. over to the Grand Floridian um, one time. That was it was a fun experience. Um, we'll have to one of these one of these times we stay down there together. We'll have to do a monorail crawl. We we hit yes. the resorts. We have to have a drink in every resort and see how many laps we can do. Oh, several laps. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. don't know about laps. I'm not just gonna get one drink and move on. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. You, get, you go you go to the Grand Floridian. You grab a drink. You get back on the monorail. You go to yeah. the Poly. You get grab a drink. Get back on the monorail. Go to the Contemporary, okay, grab a drink, okay, okay. back on yeah. the monorail to the to the Grand Floridian again. Yeah, and that's one lap. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, I I I'm pretty amped up on the transportation because it's it's so exciting being on vacation. So I'm always like talk I'll talk to people or like you know like people watching mm -hmm. or something. So yeah. Um, so for all the see. old Korean defense the Korean defense veterans out there. We used to call that a thunder run, where you would go downtown, where you would hit the uh, 
hit the downtown bars and you would have a drink at every bar ah. until you, <laughs> and you see who could do the most laps. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, does anybody skip Spaceship Earth? Spaceship now, Spaceship yes, Earth. I will. Uh, the fabulous yeah. Miss Marie has done it and she won't do it again. And yeah. the last time I went on, I when I got my foot caught and I couldn't get out of the ride, I decided, really? you know what? It's too painful for me to, to ride anymore. Spaceship Earth? Spa uh, not Spaceship Earth. I meant, I meant, oh. uh, I meant uh, Space Mountain. Space that's Space Earth. Mountain. Yeah. Spaceship right, Earth, right, right, right. no, that's a must do. Yeah, um, Spaceship Earth is not skippable for me, but I... No. Yeah. It's a must do. I love it. I do love the ride. I will... It's hard because I, the only times I go to Epcot are with my team. Really? I rarely go with anyone else or by myself. Really? Um, yeah. So it's like we, every, every festival, my team, we, we plan an Epcot day after work, but we go just to drink and just like enjoy the festival. We right. rarely, we never do any rides, but I love Spaceship Earth. Like I truly do. So I've ridden fun. many times, but it's been a while since I've ridden it because I just, I don't, I don't go anymore to just like yeah. enjoy Epcot for what it is. I go to enjoy the festival, and that includes mm -hmm. just walking around with showcase. So, I say I skip it, but it's not a skippable ride for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Guardians is a bomb. The new Space Mountain. Yeah, um, yeah. It kind of is. Space, skip when you walk in and ride, ride. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, unless <laughs> it's a, like a really short wait. Yeah, we'll probably ride it later. Um, it's a good exit ride to do. Like you're like, I'm on the way out. We ride Spaceship Earth. If yeah, there's no yeah. one. Love it. I've it's done that many times too. There still. Mm -hmm. um, well, that was fun. That was a quick hour tonight, huh? It was. Oh my gosh, it flew by. Yes. God, we did it. I'm so excited. I'm proud of us. Good job, us. Yeah, and thanks for the, for the Venetians. I I really hope Skipper J feels well very soon. Um, and, uh, again, hello to the rest of our co-hosts who are out there and, uh, to our audiences, um, on all the different streaming platforms that we have. And I, I do this because I have them on different screens. I mean, I've got a screen, a screen and a phone, and then I'm, I'm here with you guys right here. Um, you know, so, um, that's, that's what, uh, thank you so much, Jimmy. We're coming from you from the Disney nerds. That means a lot. Uh, we're still trying to get people. You know, interested in our Wednesday night. Um, whoo, yeah, thank you, uh, Clayton. Um, you know, in our Wednesday night, 8 p.m., I think next week's show is going to be a ton of fun. I really hope it comes together because we have a special guest next Wednesday um, who uh, who we know and love. And um, we're looking forward to having them on, um, you know, so um, as it gets closer to next Wednesday. I'll post about it. Um, but um yeah, now we use the back entrance and I've got the spaceship Earth this different now. Oh, well, yeah. Very true. Yeah. Uh, stay vigilant. They will call. Yeah. You know what? We're going to keep doing our thing. Um, and uh, because, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but I think we do a good job. And, um, you know, there's a lot of fun shows out there. I think we're one of them. So uh, there's a new podcast episode out, which is last week's live stream, um, you know, episode. I put that out earlier. Uh, which was a, a fun one. We talked about the 2024 Epcot Food and uh, or Flower and Garden Festival. Um, yep. So we, we we chatted about that last week, and that is our new podcast episode. So um, check that out. I also want to say that um, uh, real quick. Uh, you know, transportation when you're when you're traveling from somewhere and you're flying, you know, into Florida and you're visiting Walt Disney World, there's a lot of different ways you can get from the airport to your resort and back. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. In the past, we've used a company called Happy Limo, which is pretty, pretty well known, um, you know, and we're going to be using Happy Limo and I will be doing a review on Happy Limo. Uh, and talking about them a little bit coming up, you know, in the next few episodes. So we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be using their service on our trip. We're going to fly in to MCO and they're going to take us over to Bay Lake Towers and then back. So um, I want to get the ball rolling on just getting the word out there on Happy Limo and their service. And uh, pretty soon we'll be sharing some information about them. But um, 
So stay tuned on that too. So some exciting things coming up. Make sure you check out our friends over at dmagicworld.com because they're playing all the latest and greatest hits from the Disney music world. And um, with that, I say I hope everyone has a good rest of your night. And uh, here's our outro. Bye, friends. Night, everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. <laughs>